enlightenment and suffering. Uh, so, I've been thinking a lot lately about, uh, like, one person's suffering versus another person's suffering. And how, like, one person, you come across a lot of people that are like, you know, oh, I've had such a bad life, you know, all this has happened, and then, you know, in contrast, you know, another person tells their story, and they're like, you know, my life's bad too, all this bad stuff has happened, and it's because people have, like, a really bad habit of remembering all the bad stuff, and not the good, <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know, like, that's probably not, like, a, the best way to think, but, okay, so, say you go through life, and, like, nothing really bad has happened to you, and then, all of a sudden, one night, you're walking along, someone comes out with a gun and robs you, you know, that's the most traumatic event you've ever had in your life, it's, it's pretty bad, but, you know, it's probably not the worst thing that could happen to you, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you come out of uh, the situation and you're like scared and panicky. Anytime you're walking around from now on, you're always worried that someone's going to come out and do it again. And you can go through the rest of your life with that fear creeping through you. Or you can, you know, rise up, you know, be positive and just say, you know, it was a random occurrence. You know, people innately aren't bad. There's probably some some reason why you got, you know, why that person felt the need to go out and rob people, it doesn't, I mean, it's wrong to rob people, but, you know, you never know what's going on inside somebody else's head, their reasons for doing what they do, and, uh, the, okay, so anyways, you get, you know, you get through that situation, you can make it all the way to death, and it can, uh, can mess you up. Or you could find what is considered to be a new 10. You know, the being robbed was your the worst thing that ever happened. That's a 10 on the negative scale. And then you could also, you know, get kidnapped and, you know, beaten half to death and, you know, dumped somewhere naked in the middle of a crowd or something. I don't know. It could be, it could be way worse than just get, getting robbed. But then once you come out of that, which is considered your new t negative 10 situation, then that little tiny getting robbed at gunpoint is going to seem like nothing. So now you can be, once again, traumatized for life and let that eat you up. Or you can grow, move past it, you know, find something. You know, after it's over with, it's over with. You know, you can be positive beyond that, but that is completely up to you. Because, you know, each scenario can steadily get a little worse. <clears throat> because, you know, there's definitely worse things than being kidnapped and beaten, dropped off naked.